Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Monday edition of Tagging Art Spotlight on the Prairie Land Radio Network this afternoon. Now, we do have in with a uh, special guest, Catherine Blake, coming to us from Hi. the UK. And Hello. she is also the, uh, she's a, I've listened to her music. I've listened to her with Medieval Babes. She's fantastic, and you're going to really enjoy the videos that we're going to be playing for everybody today. So, welcome, Catherine. Thanks for joining me. Hi. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, you're very welcome. Now, when I had uh, first listened to the Medieval Babes, uh, yeah, this was something that I definitely wanted to share. And now that uh, I've had a chance to reach out to you and have you as a guest, it uh, just puts the icing on the cake. <laughs> so, now, uh, I've got your uh, information scrolled down here at the bottom. Now, I know that you said uh, when we were offline that uh, you're going to be performing on the 28th, and after, you say, 22 years? Uh, yeah, it's my, my first band, Miranda Sex Garden, that... Um, we were around initially in the very early 90s and then we we, we had a resurgence in around 2000 but that was the, about the last time we played live and we're going to be so we're, we're doing a reunion gig at the 12 bar club in london on the 28th of july there's still a few tickets left so if you're listening and you're in london or anywhere reasonably nearby then get in there and get some tickets because they're going to sell out really soon it's going to be a really special gig i'm really excited about it uh, there's some people over in London who I know that uh, would definitely take an interest in this. So yeah. I will make doubly sure that they are aware. Well, there's actually people coming from across the pond. I'm coming from Canada and, you know, all around Europe. So we better be good. <laughs> Excellent. So now, how long have you been in the music industry? Um, well professionally since i was 20 years old um i'm 51 now so that that'll be 31 years that's a long time isn't it more than significantly more than half of my life yeah so my first band was miranda sex garden we started out as magical singers we got discovered um busking on the portobello road and things just went from there really and we did like four albums and and then i and then i started a new band in two um in 1996 called the medieval babes where i got all my friends together to sing medieval music and initially it was just just for fun but then you know we enjoyed doing it so much and other people seemed to enjoy listening to us and watching us so we decided to try and get a record deal which happened and then 26 years later we're still doing it um we're going to be doing a christmas tour around churches and cathedrals around around the uk this this christmas we've got a new album coming out as well and and also I'm very busy finishing that up in between rehearsing with Miranda Sex Garden. And also like last year, well, earlier this year, I put out my the first um, album of my new project, The Witching Tale, which I do with my my partner, Michael J. York, um, which very sort of psychedelic, kind of folky, pagan sounding album, which I'm really proud of, it's pretty far out. Right. But yeah, no. lots of stuff in the go. Now, when you were growing up, did you always have an interest in music? Yeah, absolutely. I started singing well from as you know, from when I was about one or two years old. I was always singing, so yeah, it's always been in my blood. Music, and my dad's a jazz musician, so I grew up around music. Right, and I noticed that uh, now with the medieval babe. Uh, how many how many of you are there that make up the group well at the moment there's six ladies we're a sextet and um but over the years has been i think getting on for about 30 members um because it's gone on so long and so many of the women have sort of come and gone or, you know started families or moved away and had mm -hmm. to like give it up to do other careers so it's been you know there's been many incarnations of medieval babes which i think is fun because it's really kept it fresh but i'm the only one that's been there all the way through because I started the band and I'm the musical director and I write I write the material and produce the albums 
Um, but yeah, there's been so many wonderful women over the years, a lot of them who are my best friends still, who have you know, contributed to this very unique project. Well, it definitely seems like you do have longevity going for the group. I'll say, yeah, yeah. And that's because it's just so fun. It's just such a fun thing to do, sing with your friends and travel around. And it's more than just a job. It's definitely um, a, a, a social thing. We're like a collective of women. It's it's, it's an extremely unique scenario. I mean, and I hope I keep doing it forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, especially when it's something that you really love doing, that you enjoy, yeah. that I think once it's not there, uh, it's like something's missing. What's that? Sorry, I didn't hear that bit. No, oh, it's like it's like after a period of time, it's that if you didn't have it in your life, then it's like something missing. Definitely. I mean, I. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a workaholic. I just keep making albums. I've made, I've lost count of how many albums I've made, but as soon as I make one, you know, I have to do another one. I have to start another one. I always have to have one on the go because I I, I, th I think, I don't think I'd have, I'd have a sense of purpose without that. And I think I'd probably go a bit crazy if I wasn't making albums and performing. But I think it's, it's, I think it's making albums that really is my first love and composing music. That That's the thing that, I mean, I love performing as well. But, you know, like in lockdown, for instance, I think a lot of musicians I know were obviously quite distressed and felt really frustrated they couldn't go and tour. But for me, it was fine because I could just, I just made two albums in lockdown. I made a Many of the Babes album called Prayers of the Rosary, which is set, settings of Catholic prayers, and the Witching Tale album. So it was like two, you know, the Christian and the Pagan, very sort of um, good dynamic there. And I just, I love lockdown because I could just get on and write music mm. and record music and people collaborated with me remotely so that that was a that was a happy time for me actually and have you have you missed being able to be out and about and performing in front of people and getting that energy sorry i could say could you say that again please okay since the lockdown, I mean, have yeah. you have you really missed being out in front of people and performing live and uh, having that energy? Yeah, of course I miss that, but 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 because performance is only part of what I do, I could I could definitely you know um, immerse myself in other activities. So that that was uh, sorry, I've just got to um, I just sorry, um, yeah, that was someone calling me. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, but obviously I absolutely love performing and, and uh, in the medieval bay we're so lucky to get to perform in all these cathedrals around the country, which is just so great, it's, you know. Darling, I'm doing an interview. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, we get to do all these like really amazing cathedrals and we've played so many awesome venues over the years, like this this um, this uh, um, slate, slate mine in Cornwall, Pecong, those caverns. And, you know, we've traveled all across America quite a few times. We get to play the Renaissance Festival. So it's really, really good. Um, but I have to. Mike, Mike, I'm doing an interview. I can't speak now. But, um, yeah, so sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, um, we play this place called Maryland Renaissance Fair. I don't, I don't know if you're aware of that. But um, that, that's a really, really fun thing to do. We haven't been out there for a while, but so I'm really looking forward to going back there soon, hopefully. Right. So now, besides with the medieval base and your, yeah, besides the, your the group that you're with, uh, yeah. the um, the latest album, the Witching Tale. Now, yeah. have you? That was him any... on the phone, by the way. My partner Michael J York, who I did the album with, that's him calling just <laughs> now. <laughs> he sensed gotcha. it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, carry on. Have you have you written anything else for yourself? Uh, for myself, what would what, what, what... yeah, but as far as any other albums, uh, for uh, for for like a solo album, oh, I, I have done a solo album, yeah, it's called Midnight Flower. I did that back in 2007, actually, when I was when I was pregnant with my first, first baby, who's now she's 15 years old now, but yeah, that I had so I've done a solo album, I've done an album with um, my my 
my previous partner who unfortunately died of cancer, the father of my children, um, he died back in 2015, but we did a we did a sort of duets album called From the Deep. He was a really amazing musician, singer, so we used to write a lot together. Um, but yeah, so there's been yeah, the Witching Tales solo albums. I've also produced various people's albums over the years. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been really, really busy. Nice. Well, like you said, we've got three videos to play today. Oh, great. So I'm going to be spreading those out here. And I think the very first one we're going to get to is actually going to be The Witching Tale. Okay, uh, great. What was the inspiration and story behind this one? Oh, for the, oh this was actually, well, the, well lyrically, um, it came out of this, actually this book that my grandmother used to own called Fairy Music. And my and it's it's, it's from a, a long, very long poem called um, Thomas the Rhymer, but it sort of references um, various doom lovers like Trist, Tristan and Isolde. And Guinevere and Lancelot, so it's a very deeply romantic text that I set to music, and then and then the, the instrumental aspect of it is um, mainly contributed by my partner Michael J York, who plays analog synthesizers. He also plays bagpipes and makes bagpipes. So he's not playing bagpipes on this particular track. Um, but yeah, this was song was was um, created when we were in lockdown together, and it's it's really um, uh, kind of synchronistic that it. But I found this poem because it actually re references Avalon, which is the other name for Glastonbury, and it's actually you know talks about Avalon in in the poetry that I'm singing. Nice. Okay, now this one is called the Witching Tale. Yeah, the title track. <laughs> Oh uh -huh. 
Okay, now that video, to me, has got a mix of psychedelic and interdimensional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful video. It's made by um, my old lighting engineer called Mark Video. Well, his, he goes on to the name of Disco. Yeah. And we um, filmed it in, in the woods in um, Chingford, not, not far from where I live. Oh, it's, it's definitely an interesting twist from a lot of the music that I tend to come across and listen to. So it's kind of a nice little change. What's that, sorry? I said it's a nice little change from what uh, I normally come across and listen to. Good, well I'm, I'm really glad you enjoy it. I'm really glad you like it. Um, yeah, and it's, it is available at Bandcamp, our album, Bandcamp, they're the good guys, it's not Spotify. It's, you know, mm -hmm. you can, the artist can make some money from Bandcamp, so please do go there and purchase it if you like that. There's another nine tracks, I think, where that came from. Yes, yes in fact, uh, yeah. I am a big supporter of Bandcamp and what they They're, do for they all are the great. Art. Yeah. So yeah. definitely so be sure all, my, to, all, my uh, all my Medieval Babes albums also on sale in Bandcamp. I'm just, I think they are great. And they were so... They've been so generous and, you know, for like lockdown to help musicians like Bandcamp Friday, they would like not take any commission. So, yeah, they, they really are doing everything they can to support musicians. Yep, I do agree with you 100% there. Yeah. Now, besides the witching tale, uh, have you got, did you say that you've got another album uh, that you wrote? Another, sorry, another do oh. you have an, another solo album? Yes, I've got an album called um, Midnight Flower. Yes, that that's I mentioned right, earlier. Right. Yeah, solo album. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that one is that's also on Bandcamp. Band camp. <laughs> Excellent. Well, be sure to uh, check out Bandcamp so that uh, you'll be able to get both albums through there. There's so and much stuff I've got on sale there. 
I've been very busy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely sounds like it. Now, with these next two videos that we're going to be playing by the Medieval Babe, uh, the first one is called Skyline Session. Uh, was this a, a rehearsal deal, or was this a uh, uh, kind of a, a lockdown concert? That was when it was when we were on tour in America in um, I think it's Christmas two thousand and fourteen. Oh, okay. That, that's when that's when we um that's when we made that, that's when that was filmed. Yeah, we were doing a Christmas tour. Yeah. So that was okay. Yeah, I remember that. It was a really fantastic tour. I think we were somewhere maybe in, in Florida or Memphis. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, I know that people are definitely going to enjoy this one. Uh, this one caught my attention when I first listened to it. So uh, let's watch this one. This one's called the Skyline Session. <laughs> You like it, guys? <laughs> yes, I absolutely do. Uh, <laughs> having that kind of harmony, and it just—it's—it's <laughs> it's undescribable. Because when you've got a group like that who can harmonize that well, it just really makes it enjoyable. Yeah, it's I, I just love singing in harmony with with the babes and I just love writing harmonies as well, arranging stuff and writing stuff that you know it's one of my absolute big passions in life. <laughs> yeah. Now you said that uh uh let's see, now the medieval babes is, are still together, they're still touring. Yeah. Um uh, do you have a I mean are they gonna be going out on tour here soon? Yes, we, we're going to be touring in December. Uh, we've got a 14-day tour to promote our new album. We'll be doing a, a Christmas album, Christmas Stroke Yule-themed album. And we're going to be playing all around the, the UK with the various cathedrals and churches. So, 
yeah, that, that's something to look forward to. We, we try to do tours most Christmases. Obviously, we couldn't in the lockdown, but when we got to come back last year after year off, it was it was really thrilling, even though all the audience had to wear masks. But, you know, I was really, mm -hmm. you know, pleased that people actually still turned up, even though Omicron had just hit the UK. So we were up against it, but we were lucky enough to all get COVID in November. So we had immunity for the tour. So that was very fortunate because if one of us had gone down, it would have been a disaster. We probably all have got it and the tour would have been cancelled. And, you know, but we, we were very fortunate and we, we got away with it. Well, I'm glad that uh, you've got that out of the way so that uh, yeah, yeah. hopefully that won't be a factor. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, tell you what, we're going to take a quick time out for uh, station identification and then also from our sponsor. And then uh, we're going to be right back right after these words. So uh, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back right after this. Sister Moon, Apothecary and More is a collaboration of local island witches bringing you handcrafted tools for ritual, amazing apothecary, custom vinyl work, merchandise, and so much more. But we are not just an online store. We are a sisterhood, a platform, and a voice for everything that is magical. Join us for our famous Tarot Tuesdays from 11 to 4 Eastern Standard Time for a discounted reading with our amazing in-house intuitive reader and priestess, Wolf Spirit Energy, Beverly Oberlin. You can find us on Facebook at Sister Moon Store or on the web at sistermoon.shop. So fly on over and stop in for a spell. We are back with more Hi. with Catherine Blake, and uh, basically we have been listening to some fantastic music from both herself and also from the uh, Medieval Babes. Uh, I got to admit that uh, when I first came across the Medieval Babes, I wanted to have the whole, the whole group on the show. Uh, I, that would have been just absolutely fantastic to have all the girls on but uh, hopefully great, we'll yeah. be able to, yeah hopefully we'll be able to get something scheduled later on for that that'd be brilliant yeah thank you so now i know that you said that uh, you look i mean how far ahead in the future are you looking to performing with the with the babe well, I'm, I'd like to carry on doing it indefinitely. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I don't see any reason to stop. People love it. I love it. So I'm going to keep going for as long as I can. Uh, I mean, do you get a, uh, a large turnout at your uh, concerts when you're out on tour? Yeah, we do. We do well, particularly at Christmas, because I think it's a really special occasion for people to come and not only hear some, um, you know, beautiful kind of festive seasonal music, but to experience it in a beautiful setting, like, you know, an ancient cathedral. So I think it's the whole experience that people go for, the whole sort of fan fantastical, epic, um, you know, uh, component of being in being in an ancient place and hearing all that music. Nice. Well... We've got uh, one more video that we're going to be getting to here in just a couple of minutes. And uh, like I said, I've, this is going to be another really good one by the Medieval Babes. Uh, and then uh, basically what uh, we're going to be doing here, I've got the links up for the Medieval Babes. And then uh, also, now you said that... Uh, you're going to be doing a concert on the 28th with Miranda. That's correct. Yeah. That, yeah, my first band from the 90s. Yeah, we, we are returning. It's the first gig we've done in 22 years. Yeah, we're coming back on to do a gig at the Union show 28th of July, just 10 days away. So, and that is very exciting. Yeah, we've got a are fantastic you... lineup, and, you know, um, yeah, really, really looking forward to doing something that's so 
pretty different from the more classical style that I do with medieval babes. Mm-hmm. Sort of more kind of experiment, like avant-garde sort of goth rock, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, are you planning on doing both groups here in the near future? I mean, are you yeah, going to be doing... Yeah, I mean, yes, I, I'd love to have them both going uh, alongside. And also next year, I'd like to do some live stuff with the Witching Ted as well. So, you know, variety is great. So I'd like to have, a, you, know, as a, a, you know, as big a dynamic in terms of what I do stylistically as possible. Right. Now, with the medieval babes, uh does do as i say does everyone uh give their own input on music and uh come up with new ideas no i write it all <laughs> oh okay i arrange well, either arrange it or write it all myself and i notate it and then people and then the ladies sing it so it's quite different from being you know in a band where you sort of jam ideas out it's a much different approach mm-hmm but, um, but other people contribute in other areas, like when um, Joe Boas is the choreographer, for instance, and you know, everyone brings different things to it, but I'm very much in charge of what goes on musically. And I think everyone's happy for it to be that way. Otherwise, they'd have left, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. I mean, I I have to hand it to you that uh, having longevity like that, having a group, singing together for that long and really enjoying what they're doing. That says a lot for the kind of music that you're doing and just their love of performing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know. It's 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 kind of extraordinary. It's been going on as long as it has. I mean it is there is it is quite a phenomenon. I don't think there's any other band or choir, whatever you want to call it, like like it. Which you know, which is obviously a strength because it's not like people are going to get into the medieval babes and then then get into the next thing that comes along that's a bit like the babes or whatever. You know, it's it's you know, we are one of a kind. I think. Because mm-hmm. in a way, uh, in a way, it uh, kind of uh, actually I may go a different route with this. Uh, with the harmonies that the medieval babes are able to do. I mean, I have, it's kind of similar to the harmonizing from Celtic Woman. But right, yeah. you you ladies take it a step further. Yeah, I think Celtic Woman is, I mean, I guess, you know, there are obviously comparisons and that we're women and we're singers and that there's Celtic, medieval, whatever, but it's very, very different stylistically, I think. Yeah. Yep. Is, uh, you ladies have taken things a step further, and the choices of music and the harmonizing that you're able to put together, yeah, that's a testament to you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, this last one that we're going to be playing here, uh, this is called, uh, it's called, uh, yeah, Venny Venny, and what was the rest of Benny, it? Venny Venny Bella, I think, Bella. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Which what means was come my sweet. I was say, what was the uh, inspiration and story behind this one? Well, it's a setting of a, of a, um, a medieval Latin poem. It's a very romantic setting. It's, it's a, the lyrics, are, well, they're just, they're sort of quite, yeah, they're, they're, it's a love song. It's a love song. So hopefully that comes across in the music. It's got a very sort of courtly feel. Um, hopefully quite a medieval sort of romantic tone to it, which would sort of suits suits the lyrics. Right. All right. It's called Veni Veni Bella. Yeah. 
Oh, that definitely has a love theme to it. So, what was that? Sorry. It, yeah, it definitely has a love theme to it. Yeah, yeah, it's a very romantic one. That. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and here again, hats off to the choreographer. Yeah, I can't remember who choreographed that one. It, there's been various choreographers all, over the years, but yeah, that's, that, that's, a, that's we haven't done that one live for ages. Actually, maybe I should, maybe I should revive it. Well, there you go. I mean, I'm glad I was able to give you the inspiration to uh, revive that one. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right, now uh let's see now anything on the schedule coming up uh here soon for the medieval base the next um comp the next time we're performing live is at um a, a, a reenactment festival called Loxwood joust and that's um the first weekend of august 6th and 7th and we're going to be playing both days and it's really really fun sort of family event they've got jousting and archery and battles being reenacted and we're, we're performing in a stage in the woods so that that's a really good day out if you happen to live in the uk and you fancy um being, going back in time and witnessing people living like they would have done in in you know the 13th century come along right okay so be sure to check out the Facebook pages for Medieval Babes, also for Miranda's Sex Garden, which is her band that she had back in the 90s, and uh, they're going to be uh, making a appearance on the 28th. And then uh, also check out uh, The Witching Tale on Facebook as well. And then last but not least, be sure to also go to their band camp, The Witching Tale bandcamp.com yeah. and you'll be able to uh, pick up albums you'll be able to listen in on the music uh be, there's so much that uh, bandcamp does for all the artists that they have on their site uh, which is why i'm a huge promoter and supporter of the bandcamp me too yeah the good guys <laughs> All right. Well, I definitely want to thank you for taking time out to come join me today. You're so welcome. It was lovely to be on your show. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, you're very welcome there, Catherine. We'll definitely be staying in touch and yes. looking forward to uh, hearing more music. And um, Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, take care. Have, enjoy the rest of your day. All right. You as well, there, Catherine. Have a good night over in your area. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. All right, you've been listening to another edition of Iowa Pagan News, and also uh, have a good <laughs> night on the Prairie Land Radio Network and Pagan Artist Spotlight. Uh, this has been enjoyable to get to know Catherine, get to know the music, and really have a chance to connect with uh, both herself and also the medieval base. As always, if you have questions for me directly, contact me via email at earl at iapnradio.net or you can contact me through uh, at iowapaganews at gmail because you'll be able to reach out to both myself and then also my new co-host. Uh, she is still on the mend yet, so uh, she should be returning back with me hopefully later this week what she gets to feel better. So I'm hoping that uh, she's able to shake that bug that she's got. So uh, we'll just wait and see what happens. Anywho, uh, also, if you want to help support Iowa Pagan News, uh, be sure to uh, check out our site that we do have here. Uh, you can, uh, you'll be able to uh, get in contact with us and it also helps support us by donating through our cash app at the dollar sign IAPN Radio 2750 or through PayPal at Iowa Pagan News at Gmail and then Venmo at P L R N I A. So if you'd like to help support us here at Iowa Pagan News, 
that's where to go that uh, you can help support what we're doing so uh i can continue bringing you good programming good music uh but also news events and a lot more i'm gonna wish everyone pleasant journeys i've got more to come this week so stay tuned for more announcements right here at iowa pagan news on the prairie land radio network and i want to wish uh, everyone pleasant journeys and uh, have a good week